Hello and welcome to this practice quick instructional video. Um, many times a lot of customers ask us, hey, I have a couple of uh, test sets where I'm recording all sorts of results for my test cases and I want to provide that information to the rest of the people in my team. Uh, the most common case is where, for example, you're working on a specific version and let's say that you have two test sets. And if you look into these test sets, basically you're testing all sorts of components. So if I look here, maybe in my test set, I have uh, a number of components that I'm testing. I'm testing test case for my application server, for my database server on my client side. And you can see that some of the results are passed, failed, so on and so forth. So how am I able to provide this information out to the rest of the team? Well, that's very easy. If you already have these fields in your test instances and you're capturing what you're testing and again it can be a component it can be your browsers operating systems versions whatever you have in there then you can go ahead and create a bar chart for that let's actually do it let's say that i want to go into my um, dashboard and again provide the information about what's going on in here but on the resolution of the internal components that i'm testing so for that i'm going to go into my settings i'm going to go into my dashboard settings here and I will create a new dashboard item. This new dashboard item, let's call it, um, let's say, results by component, for example. We will create it for our test instances. Remember, the instances are the test cases within your test sets. It will choose to work with a bar chart in this case. And uh, the filter is going to be the version that I wanted to work with. Remember, filters are very important. They help you to pinpoint the information you want to report on. Um, on the X field, I'm going to work with my component field. Take into account the fields that you see here. The available fields are those that are list fields, in this case, that are within my instances. And on the Y field, I want to create the uh, run status. Now, by pressing this checkbox here, I'm able to see a preview of the, of the graph that I'm creating. And I can see it here. And again, well, that's pretty neat. I can see all of my uh, components and I can see the results and the statuses for the test case within those components. But wait a second, you see this legend? It's actually bothering me because it's on top of my chart. Well, that's no problem. I can just go into my advanced options and say that I want my legend at the bottom. I save it again. And presto, now I can see it here. Now, obviously, once this is there, I can go into my dashboard and I will see my new graph in here. And obviously you can position it elsewhere. And if you're working with practice, you can also embed it in your external dashboard graphs and basically do whatever you wanna do. So again, hope that this was a quick instructional video and hope to see you soon.